G'day guys, and girls, and everyone, it's Burgasms here, and got something a little different today, uh, buddy J Tough Fluff, who I will try to remember to link in the video comments, from the Sensible SMP server, uh, which is W92 Badger's Patreon server, get supporting, has set down a challenge. And uh, of course it says UHC challenge. So you can bet your bottom dollar that I immediately got very excited. Um, I'm just gonna do a default world for now. There's probably gonna be variations to this as we go. Anyway, it's all clear there. Cheats on, so we can do the uh, game rule. Survival. Um, now we're not allowed to do cheats in hardcore, are we? So, okay, this is to be that way, that way, and empty seed, create the world. So basically the aim is to get, um, uh, what do we have to get? Enchanted, three golden apples, and a stack of arrows, and an anvil if you can. Two hours is the maximum time limit, and obviously the aim is to uh, do it quicker. And I hear chickens, which is really good. I also see cows, which is really good. Um, we're gonna need at least 16 feathers. And by the sounds of it, we'll be able to get that. Gonna have to get apples as well, which is gonna be fun. I've not had the best luck with them in bingos lately. Now we might take some full damage here, depending on how this tree is arranged. Um, yes, yeah, so this should be a lot of fun. He played his one on the Patreon server, just ran to a point in the world and played, which is fine. I'm not going to do that because my connection is quite atrocious to that server. Things be slow, yo. Um, so it's not much good for me. I would be like 20 seconds behind at this point, just waiting for wooden blocks to pop. So we're just going to play a local world. He didn't stipulate that it had to be on the server, so that's good for me. I'm trying to avoid that andesite. Um, oh yeah, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself permanent night vision because it makes for better video. So we'll do that in a second. I hope JT will forgive that liberty that I'm taking. Now... I should have set up a uh, command block timer or something that would have been sensible. Sensible like the SMP server, hey yo. Um, so if you're watching along and you feel the... Oh, two feathers. Love you long time, chicken. You feel the need to have a go at this as well, uh, feel free. Be sure to let me know. So I'd love to see your times. I love these uh, these blind world challenges. They are my absolute bread and butter. Also, if you saw the world that I named, you noticed a thing called the Monument Challenge. Depending on when I upload this, it might be too high. Okay, it looks like a desert out that way. We'll definitely head that way. Let's see if we can get some structures. Keep those levels coming for enchant. Okay, we've got 15 feathers. We've nearly met our requirement for feathers already. You better drop leather, buddy. Ah, scum. Way. Oh well. When in caves, mine iron. Because that's like the one. You spin me right round, scaly right round. That's one less arrow I need. Um, it's one of the big deals with UHC is just take advantage of everything as it presents itself. Ooh, Enderman, could be useful. Don't, uh, don't get stuck in your ways. If you get stuck in your ways, you will not Achieve enlightenment. Okay, we need plenty of this anyway, just for um, armor and stuff. I did talk about in the comments for this possibly going to the nether. 
Um, oh yeah, I realised, because I don't get my health back. That was probably silly full damage to take, huh? Bet you guys are all having a good laugh at crazy old man Berg with his full damage antics. Well, nuts to you, is what I say. <laughs> Nearly fell down another hole. Still didn't get that leather. So we want to. Oh, yes, we did. Got two leather. What am I talking about? Um. Just get a little bit more of this. Not least because we get levels from it, but four, five. Um, I think it was Deepak had posted a secondary challenge that was um more aimed at. Uh, had more dungeons. Basically, it was a, a variant on the theme, which I like the idea of. So, that's there to try next. Now, I believe there were more chickens, perhaps, up over this way. So, we'll have a quick squiz. Yep, there was. Internal compasses on song. Okay, we got heaps of stuff for the stack of arrows. Very nice. Uh, what we will do now is... Wood... Probably not worth cutting down this whole tree to get it to decay, but wood is a very useful thing to have lots of. It's great for blocks to block off bad guys. It's great for uh, all sorts of things. Oh, he also said you're allowed to heal if you want, if you, you got to make three apples, but you can, uh, make those apples and then, you know, heal up with them. Uh, so that's useful to remember. Okay, now we've got the chance now that we might get some apples falling while we finish <coughs> faffing about down here. Don't eat that anymore. Okay, Could create a shovel, make a pick and a water bucket, and we'll save this. Let's go find a bit of gravel. I think I saw some down here. Oh no, there's a zombie. Don't really want to mess with him, but I really want that gravel down there. Oh, squid, hello. Shrek. And that water should defend me from any zombies. So we need at least 17 flint because we want a flint and steel. That, of course, it takes forever. And you, sir, are going to try and sneak up on us, aren't you? Look at that little guy. Okay, we'll just take this and get out of here, I reckon. Before we take damage from that little fella. Be gone. Zombie be gone. And a nice little start. We can go craft a few more of those arrows, get the flint and steel. Might as well turn that all into sticks. Chuck that one in there. There. Okay, so we're almost a quarter of the way to making our stack of arrows. Got some food, and let's set off. We want to head towards the... Oh, now. Want the kit for a bed. Definitely, because we don't need to uh, get anything from the night. So we'll just sleep it away. Absolutely no reason to waste our time taking damage. Oh, no, I should have checked for apples. That was a bit of an oversight. Hey, that's good. Let's chuck our way through this. 
Yep. Okay, what else have we got? More chickens. We don't really need them. Just wanted to check this savanna out, really, because uh, it might lead to a desert, which might lead to other good stuff. But I mean, at this stage, we can kind of go caving um, if we can find. There we go, sugar cane. Right on time. Oh, there's only two. Ah, there we go, desert to the left. So grab this just in case we decide to go to the nether and get pots. I think that should be like the tier 2 level of this challenge. It's getting potions and getting uh, yeah, getting potions as well as enchants because you know, because you know. Now you could get really lucky and get yourself a village blacksmith that had most of the stuff for um enchants but that would be exceedingly lucky so I don't predict that would happen although we've got some good planes out here it's always good to go for a quick squeeze through them if we do find a lava pool we'll make a quick portal and check okay plenty of paper worlds most disappointing desert right here leading to the world's most disappointing plains right here all right well that's okay got the world's least disappointing sheep and now we're kind of really just looking for a nice deep cave oh this looks like a ravine okay that'll be splendid and you know what I see over here lava pit wait did I not get a third wall dude that sheep totally held out of me oh wait grey wool no wait white grey yeah no that sheep held out of me damn you sheep alright well I guess we're not going to sleep tonight um, on the plus side we might get some skeletons there's creepers down there okay we need water kind of faffing about here, wasting time. This looks like a water pool. Plenty of regular mobs, so that's always nice. Spider. Go away, baby zombie. Back off, kid. It's a problem with night vision, you can't actually see where all the bad guys are. Got him. Spider's dead. Okay, let's just sparta this creeper. He's dead. Quickly now. Oh, look at the zombie over there. Oh god, there's one coming right now. Oh, whoa. Oh, there's a water pool right here, and I ran all that way for water. Okay, let's just have a quick peek in this plains. Oh, now let's. Uh, Oh, what? You cheap. Guy. Still not enough for a bow. Luckily, it's Spider Central right here. Got him. Okay, quick squeeze. No villages. Nope. Okay, down we go then. Or quick peek in the nether and then down. I suppose we're going to be a bit slow on the other guys because we're going to check the nether for a fortress, but uh... Well maybe we shouldn't go, should we go? Should we go? No, we probably shouldn't go. Oh, 
Zombies in the water pool. Okay. Do I need to put this waterfall? I don't because there's a decent one right here. Okay, what do we got? We hear spiders, so that's nice. That means it's a cave. Oh, and zombies. Ah, now. It's a problem. We've run out of inventory space. So. <laughs> Let's do things like this to get the bow. Um, oh, now that's interesting. We probably don't want to waste those arrows. We need a stack, don't we? And that means a stack. Okay, and I only need one book. Just a quick little bit of inventory management can save you a lot of hassle later on. Divide that one out, chuck that, get rid of those. Much better. Okay, now let's go adventuring. Oh, that water's loud. Mine shaft would be just fantastic. We still haven't got our apples. I know that's a bit of a no-no, but... Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, it is a mine shaft. All right. Lucky that one, the cave spider then. 10 points if we can find a uh, chest that has diamonds in it. Stay back, stay back. Block off. Uh, set fire to. Set fire to. Bust this up. Took down one of these babies. Cook that. Here, lots of zombies. Kill zombie, block off. It's all just a process, guys. You just gotta work through it. Bit of a risk digging straight down, but you've gotta take them to get good times. Zombies can be a bit of a pain in the bum, to be honest. What's up with that guy there? I would have thought he could get through. Oh, the, the things, that's right. Okay. Cave okay, spiders that way. They will put a big impact on the health if we're not careful. So we will endeavor to not touch them. But we must be getting close to the iron we need. I didn't know if we need to get full armor. I suppose so. It's kind of a UHC thing, right? Otherwise it's kind of simple to uh, get the anvil, but... Maybe we'll go for the uh, anvil first. Okay, now 
26, positive 7. Right, we're nearly at the point where we can get an anvil already. Um, let's do a bit more exploring up this direction. This is the back door entrance to this guy's house, so we will go the other way. And turn the corner. Ah, oh, gravel, not a problem, we need to break that anyway. How are we doing for flint even? Four. Need heaps more flint. But we will get there, dear viewer. Oh, continues down there. Not very far though. What height are we at? Y of 34. No wonder we're not seeing any gold. Bit of iron up there. Plenty of zombies up here. Good work, zombies. Don't waste your arrows. Let's do that. Okay, let's hope that's not cave spider lair. Doesn't appear to be. Down, 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 down. It's going to be fun trying to find a way back out of here, that's for sure. That's okay, looks like there's a ravine that way. And our first little patch of gold, very nice. And it looks like an eight vein, which is just what we need for an apple. this stuff. I feel like I'm taking it a bit too easy actually to be brutally honest here. I'm not going hard enough. 